The biggest difference between Richard Nixon's abuse of power, when Nixon tried to get dirt on political opponents to help with his re-election in 1972 and then covered it up, and Donald Trump's abuse of power, trying to get Ukraine's president to get dirt on a political opponent to help him with his re-election in 2020 and then covering it up, is not just that Nixon's involved a botched robbery at the Watergate and Trump's involves a foreign nation. The real difference is that Nixon's was discovered after the 1972 election, during Nixon's second term. So he had no incentive to do more damage to our election system. But Trump's abuse has been discovered now, before an election. And knowing Trump, he has every incentive to do additional damage. For all we know, Trump and his enablers, like Rudy Giuliani, have been urging other foreign powers to dig up dirt on Trump's political rivals. Who can we count on to protect our election process in 2020? Not the president, obviously, and not the attorney general of the United States. We now know Trump urged Ukraine's president to work with Attorney General William Barr to investigate Joe Biden, telling Ukraine's president that Barr would call him. And then after that, Barr's Department of Justice advised the acting director of national intelligence, Joseph McGuire, to keep the whistleblower complaint from Congress. And Barr's Justice Department ruled out the possibility of criminal conduct on the part of Trump. Now remember, this is the same attorney general, by the way, who released what he said was a summary of Robert Mueller's findings after a nearly two-year investigation of Russian election interference, emphasizing that there wasn't enough evidence to show the Trump campaign had conspired with Russia, even though Mueller found that the campaign had welcomed Russia's help. And Barr cleared Trump of obstruction of justice, even though Mueller specifically declined to decide whether the president had obstructed justice. Face it, Barr is not working for the United States. He's working for Trump, just like Rudy Giuliani is working for Trump. Just like all the lapdogs and sycophants that are supposed to be protecting America, but are protecting Trump. U.S. intelligence says there's every reason to believe Russia will try to intervene again in 2020. But what are the odds Trump or his lackeys are urging Putin to do so? What about other nations? that Trump could be encouraging to spread disinformation on social media or interfere with voter databases or election machines. Trump has shown himself willing to trample every aspect of our democracy that gets in his way, attacking the media, using the presidency for personal profit, packing the federal courts, verbally attacking judges, undermining and subverting the separation of powers. But as long as his presidency can be ended by an election, He's not yet destroyed our democracy. If this man is re-elected, there is no telling what he will do. In other words, the real value of this impeachment is to put Trump on notice that he cannot get away with abusing his presidential power to win re-election. He will still try, of course, but at least a line has been drawn. And now everyone is watching. The lesson we should be taking from Trump's request to the president of Ukraine to dig up dirt on Joe Biden as well as everything else this man has done over the past two and a half years, is we must be vigilant in protecting the 2020 election.